So the patrol of Daleks to the main entrance. This will remain an area of maximum security. I obey! The automated Dalek production line has been started. I gave no such order. Who did? I gave the command. You will perform no function unless ordered by me. You will obey only my commands. The production line is to be halted immediately. You heard my order. Obey! Obey! You must obey me. I created you. I am the master, not you. I, I, I... Our programming does not permit us to acknowledge that any creature is superior to the Daleks. You cannot exist without me. You cannot progress. We are programmed to survive. We have the ability to develop in any way necessary to ensure that survival. All inferior creatures are to be considered the enemy of the Daleks and destroyed. No, wait! Those men are scientists. They can help you. Let them live. Have pity. Pity. I have no understanding of the word. It is not registered in my vocabulary bank. Exterminate. For the last time, I am your creator. You must. You will. We obey no one. We are the superior beings. We are in tow, but we live on. This is only the beginning. We will prepare. We will grow stronger. When the time is right, we will emerge and take our rightful place as the supreme power of the universe! Jay, it's flight through entirety! Stop to in ten seconds! Ah! Season 6. A pair of power bottoms try to turn the planet Dolkus into a nuclear pile using shoulder pads and toy robots. The lesson is if you're a pacifist you have to wear a dress made out of curtains and you deserve to die. Take that Scarlet O'Hara. The Doctor plans a white party and Jamie quite literally gets ripped off his face. Zoe clubbers a man three times her size and the Doctor has a meeting with the Master. No, not that Master. He doesn't exist. The Cybermen slowly invade London, but we have Tobias Vaughn's smoking hot chest to keep us amused. Victoria's dad doesn't turn up, not playing Zoe's dad, but that half Scottish soldier's back, and with a promotion. Rotten egg gas, terminal stupidity, and eugenics obsessed African accented robots doom the Gons to perpetual boredom. Zoe graduates top of her class, and the doctor makes croton soup. The team at Hub on the Moon breaks down, and you thought your internet was lousy. The Ice Warriors threaten to turn Earth into a giant foam party, so the doctor microwaves them to death and throws them into the sun. The Doctor, Jamie and Zoe spend six episodes being locked in various rooms while people with amazing voices, fabulous wigs and terrible moustaches steal rocks from each other. It's even less interesting than it sounds. An evil Time Lord with the best sideburns in history is culling humanity's wars to make the perfect army. When the Doctor calls in the Time Lords for help, they take Jamie and Zoe home, rip off his face and ruin the series forever. Thank you so much for watching. That is the end of Doctor Who Season 6 in 10 seconds. Uh, please come back in two weeks when we'll have Season 7. You can also like, share and subscribe to make sure you never miss a video. Find us on our website at flightthroughentirety.sexy. You can also find us on Facebook and iTunes. And uh, there might be another video, not a 10 seconds video, coming up in the next couple of weeks as well, so keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And again, thank you for watching.
what is going on guys um I'm here today to show you uh, a Doctor Who uh, video game that was recently put up for experimental idea uh, uh, it's an experimental game at this current moment and um, I've played a few games of it this is actually my second time recording this as uh, my voice wasn't cut into the other one so I've got two programs running at the same time now um, but um, this is Doctor Who Don't Blink. Now, basically, it will use your webcam to see if you're blinking or looking away. And if you blink or look away, obviously, an angel will get closer to you, which is generally quite a cool idea to use your webcam and to make it quite immersive. It's very Five Nights at Freddy's with checking um, with checking cameras, um, but you know, it's very more. It's way more immersive than uh, Five Nights at Freddy's was, but you know. Don't get me wrong, I love Five Nights Freddy's, but this is what it should have been like. Um, but yeah, so you have to survive as long as you can until the TARDIS arrives. You also have to take the TARDIS key. So it should load up a tutorial right now. Yeah, so staring into webcam stops the angels from moving. It'll, I'll warn you when you blink or look away. Let's test it works. Oh, if I take my glasses off, it might. Yeah, there we go. It picks it up a lot better. Okay. Hold down the number keys to see CCTV around the house. Switch when the camera flashes red to stop the angels. Ah, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Switch when the camera flashes red to stop the angels. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, and four. So we've got basement, corridor, kitchen, and nursery. Okay. One of the weeping angels has the has the key to the TARDIS. When it when it and the TARDIS are both in the attic, hit K to escape. Uh, okay. So when I, when the TARDIS just lands, just click K. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. As you can see, we've got a little TARDIS bar at the top. That cherub at the bottom. One's here. I'm knocking. This game is impossible to win, by the way. Get my hand on K. I can see the TARDIS thing in the bottom of my eye. Yeah. Okay. Let's go again. There you are. I see you. I see you, all the way down there. Hi. 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 Obviously, the longer you look at the webcams, the, uh, you know. That's number th 
three here. Come on, two. Just need four and two. Just two to join the party. Toss is almost here. I'm gonna get ready to click K. Shit. I swear, if two's the one with the TARDIS key. Oh, come on, two. Well done, the angels are quantum locked forever. You survive 51 seconds. That is, um, Doctor Who don't blink, guys. Um, please go show this game some love. I think it's generally a good idea for a Doctor Who game. Obviously, it's it is an experimental, so it is a bit buggy around the edges, but I generally think this could, um, start a, a, tr a chain of um, of Doctor Who games hopefully in the future um, as we haven't had a proper Doctor Who game since the event of games back in like 2010, 2011 uh, so it was like you know five or six years ago now it was with Matt Smith uh, they, those were brilliant and uh, we need stuff like that again we need Doctor Who games again um, so you know Go show, go show this game some love. Check it out for yourself. You know, see if you enjoy it. Uh, I thought, I think, it is generally a good idea. I think if the uh, the looking away and blink had like a better um, system to it, maybe, um, like how it tracked it, because it didn't seem to track it very well. Yes, it is an experimental, but if they, you know, when that gets um, properly implemented and uh, Put out and it will track it really well. I think this game will be uh, quite tough, as you will actually have to not blink or look away from the webcam, which is generally quite a good idea. And uh, yeah, so go show this game some love. Go check it out. Links in the description below for you guys to play it yourself. And uh, you know, tell me what you think in the comments. See, tell me if you like it or not. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this quick video for you guys and uh, I shall see you in the next one. Bye.